I mean, you're the perfect student and I'm, well, I'm me. But it's just crazy, you know? We've been friends for so long. What are the odds we'd still be together? Well, not together, together. Not that I'm not saying you're not handsome. You are handsome, but that'd just be weird, right? Right. What was I thinking? <laughs> but still, I hope we end up on the same team together. Ooh, we should come up with some sort of plan to make sure we end up on the same team together. What if we bribe that master? No, that won't work. He has a school. I know! We'll have some sort of signal, like a distress signal. <gasps> a secret signal so we can find each other in the forest. Can you imitate a sloth? Nora? Yes, Ren? I don't think sloths make a lot of noise. That's why it's perfect! No one will suspect we're working together. Come on, Nora. Let's go. But not together, together. <laughs> I still don't think that's what a sloth sounds like. Boop. Oh, it's broken. Nora? Please. Don't ever do that again. Did that girl just ride in on an Ursa? I... Ruby? Yang! Nora! Yeah! Did she just run all the way here with a Death Stalker on her tail? I can't take it anymore! Could everyone just chill out for two seconds before something crazy happens again? <sighs> Um, Yang? So, there we were, in the middle of the night. It was day. We were surrounded by Earth's side. They were Beowulfs. Dozens of them! Two of them. But they were no match. And in the end, Ren and I took them down and made a boatload of Lien selling Ursa's skin rugs. <sighs> She's been having this recurring dream for nearly a month now. No, if you ever need help, you can just ask. Oh! We'll break his legs! How come Jean gets home so late? He's become rather scarce ever since he's been fraternizing with Carl. That's weird. Doesn't he know we have a field trip tomorrow? We need our quest! I'm sure our leader knows exactly what he's doing. Hmm... I guess so. Mm. <laughs> Nora! Distracted! Make that jump. <laughs> Whoa! Couldn't stand another minute. 